Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. Hope you've all had a fantastic week so far. Today we're going to be jumping into Cardano and we're going to be asking and hopefully answering the question, what's next? Not just for the price, but Cardano as a project. I'm going to be giving you reasons to be excited ladies and gentlemen. The future is a bright one where Ada is concerned and hopefully those reasons why are going to become very apparent by the end of this video. So what we're really going to be jumping into within this video is DeFi. We're going to be taking another look at it and I'm going to be bringing up some very interesting things that have taken place recently. One of them is with Pavia, a metaverse project building on top of Cardano. It's like the Decentraland um, version on ADA. Um, so we're going to be talking about that because this is huge. they saw unprecedented demand and this is a real indication given just how small these guys are in comparison with something like Sunday Swaps, Sunday Swap in terms of a following. This is a huge indication that we're about to see the DeFi space that's being built on top of Cardano really gain usage and adoption. This, of course, is going to have a fantastic effect on the price. We did, uh, and we've done a number of videos looking at Ethereum's DeFi, um, how DeFi summer really affected the price of Ethereum, and how that's going to be replicated on Cardano. There's more ETH in terms of a monetary value locked in DeFi on top of Ethereum than there is Cardano's market cap. So, so there's a lot of growth to be had. Cardano is not dead. It's not lost. It's here to stay. Uh, and the race is far from over, guys. Just because we've seen a pullback, a setback in the price, which has largely in many respects been uncorrelated with the actual asset. The price hasn't really reflected the asset that it's trying to represent, rather um, external factors that have influenced the price. And if we know the entire market is still largely influenced with Bitcoin and the direction that it takes. Uh, and we are going to get into that also. You know, there's not really been an accurate price representation here. This price action doesn't really represent Cardano and where it's at and, and just how strong it is. In the same way that Amazon in the dot-com boom went from $106 all the way down to six, you know, that was a fantastic buying opportunity and the price didn't reflect it. So let's start with Pavia. Let's start, why, I'm, why, why is this of interest to me and why am I talking about it? Minting of the second land sale NFTs has started. Huge thank you to Vegas Ada and Cardano Buzz for your work on Bot TX um, eradication. Once minting completes, it's on to the 4 million plus Ada refund. Unprecedented demand does not even come close to what we've witnessed today. So we've seen this metaverse project that's being built on top of Cardano see unprecedented demand. These guys, by the way, have only 21,000 followers on, 25, sorry, thousand followers on Twitter, sorry. Sunday Swap has 212. This is a huge indication, and we know that metaverse, um, the metaverse is all the rage at the moment, but this is a huge indication on the adoption that we're about to see in relation to Cardano's DeFi. And back to the whole kind of point that I made at the start of the video, DeFi is going to eat up, whether that be through providing liquidity, whether that be through borrowing or lending against your, your ADA, um, whether that be through using it in, in whatever kind of DeFi protocol. Cardano is going to get eaten up and this is going to really um, uh, have positive effects on the price. It's going to become more in demand, you know, just like when you use PancakeSwap, typically you're trading, trading BNB, or when you use um, Ethereum, you're, or, or sorry, uh, Uniswap, you'll use uh, ETH as the underlying token to trade between. So good, good indication this. Um, congratulations to these guys, by the way. Um, very interesting um, that you know we're, we're going to see that adoption. We know we've got tokens like Ardano that are partnering with Near Protocol, et cetera, et cetera, for that kind of cross-bridge interoperability uh, or cross-chain interoperability. Bridges are huge, and they're largely underestimated in the crypto space. That's that kind of Wi-Fi moment that Charles talks about where everything connects, and this could be achieved through bridges, making things interoperable. You know, if, if perhaps on one protocol the yield isn't so attractive, you can come over to another and, and farm, and, and this is going to open up the world of possibilities on that front. Um, we saw a fantastic price indication uh, suggesting adoption as well. Um, we saw Ardana on the day of their launch, this is Gate.io, I think they launched on Metsy and another exchange, go from under a dollar to $11. So that's a huge indication that you know the, the, these things are going to, and, and desired things to come. Sunday Swap is moving forward. We potentially are gonna see these guys as the first decks to launch. We know they're partnered with DJ, which is the stable coin. 
that Coty are essentially issuing. Uh, um, it's an algorithmic stable. Algorithmic stable coins are a whole another video's worth of content. I mean, they are really revolutionary and kind of redefining the term money. So that's really what you've got to look forward to, guys. Uh, please go and watch my other videos where we've actually shown you that you know DeFi on a um, on a, a smart contract protocol sees huge adoption for that underlying token associated with the protocol. This is absolutely coming full card, I know, guys. In relation to the price, where are we at? Well, the indicators that I'm talking about that look good at the moment is on the daily, your RSI looks good, your um, stock RSI looks great, and your MACD looks at very low level. So all of these are typically in oversold territory, indicating a good buy signal. Now, the weekly, the longer time frames make a little bit more um, damage, if you will, that they've got a little bit more staying power. You can see that your RSI really, for the first time since you started what I believe was the start of the bull market here, has come below this 50 mark. Now, this could be setting you up for an epic move to the upside following this um, ascending trend line. And that's not very well drawn. This is the ascending trend line that I'm talking about, guys, that I believe you could see your MACD for. Uh, sorry, not your MACD, your RSI for Cardano go right to the top, right around that 100 mark. Um, can you see this? It, it, you know, it, 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 this is potentially projection you're looking at. Your stock RSI looks fantastic. Looks like you're just about to form a bullish cross. You're right at the floor here. And your MACD, given where you are in the cycle, actually looks pretty healthy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it looks like you're coming into some sort of an apex here with it. Um, so the indicators look really good on the weekly, daily, uh, and even four hourly, not that the indicators make too much sense on those kind of time frames, unless you're a day trader. Now, what are we looking for? Let's say the market continues to sell off. What sort of levels do you want to target and maybe put some, some buy orders into? Because there is always the possibility that this market continues to sell off. It's largely dependent on Bitcoin um, and a lot of external factors. But if Bitcoin decides it wants to recover, you know, there is going to come a point in time where the, the, the floodgates cannot be closed again in relation to ADA because you're going to really, that, that DeFi is going to be absolutely huge on Cardano. We're already seeing the signs that, it, that, that the demand is there. Um, so it's just waiting for that kind of switch to be turned and for DeFi to become active. Uh, and this is, it's going to do phenomenal things, guys. But back to what we were talking about in relation to the pullback. Let's pull up the... Um, Fibonacci retracement tool. This level here is significant. If the market continues to roll, expect the um, $1.48 range to act as some serious support. I'm saying this for a number of reasons. Now, I don't actually happen to believe, given the indicators that we've just shown, um, that you 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 you're you're potentially going to get down that low. But if you know markets don't often do what you want them to, these this is just how things work. If you do continue to see a roll, target that level as a fantastic buy um, because you can see previously it's acting as resistance on more than one occasion. Um, and typically, you know, even when we broke it to lead up to this run here, you can see that it acted as resistance. We broke it um, and we didn't actually come back to retest it before continuation. And that's, that's, that's a textbook um, sign. It kind of indicates that you're over with that level. So there is still the possibility. It also lines up with the 0.76, um, which is still a retracement. You are still in a retracement, guys. I still absolutely believe you're going to see the price targets that we set out for Cardano. Potentially, we're going to take a bit of a longer road to get there, but these targets are still going to be achieved. And I actually think in the future, and I'm talking five years down the line, the majority of people are going to end up buying, going to have end going to end up have bought Cardano at over $10. You know, that's going to be the price that people get into it at in the future. You know, these things find flaws as the space evolves. And Cardano is no different in that respect. So that was largely all I have for you in the video. I just thought it would be nice to get a short and sweet update. This has got me major bullish. I was, I was kind of paying attention to Pavia and I thought, wow, this is, this is super interesting. We know Metaverse is the rage at the moment. And they saw an unbelievable amount of demand for their product. And these guys only have 25,000 um, followers on Twitter, whereas Sunday Swap has 212. And this is growing daily, guys. So 
Super, super excited. We are in talks, like I say, with a number of these DeFi protocols that are building on top of Cardano. We've got a number of interviews lined up for you, very timely, um, as we are going to see some of these roll out within the coming months. There is a Cardano 360 event that would have played before this, so you're probably watching this after. We are going to cover that in tomorrow's video. Very, very quickly, guys, we do have the... Um, Stake pool is doing exceptionally well, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get to 1 million Cardano delegated. Huge thank you to all of our delegators. If you want to join the All in Crypto community, there is a link to our Discord in the description. I look forward to seeing you all there. If you've enjoyed the content, like is always appreciated. So is a comment. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen.